guys so question doesn't this wig just bring out my natural beauty i feel like it just makes my eyes pop it makes my skin glow super in love with this one so i've teamed up with ashley mary hair we're gonna be doing a start to finish beginner friendly install i did a little baby hair in the front so actually i filmed the tutorial portion of this video about three days ago so i've been wearing this hair on and off and as you guys can see it's holding up beautifully i really just wanted to come back with a little finesse when i got some little makeup on and i'm feeling myself to really really give you the oomph and the vibe because i did film the intro no makeup and stuff but i'll be wanting to put that shit on and make you feel it so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial again it's very beginner friendly if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe now let's get into it okay ladies let's get into it this is the hair straight out of the sink i went ahead and co-washed her with my aussie moist conditioner and i'm just literally towel drying her as much as i can before i start the install process i cringe with wet hair but for you guys i'ma do it i'ma just get this little sweater i got on damp and then switch into a robe in just a moment but this is what she looks like after a fresh co-wash um absolutely beautiful a beautiful heavy density i love the layers in this one so this is their trending curly 13 by 6 transparent HD lace front wig in the texture curly. She's 24 inches in length, 180% density, and she is one donor hair, which is absolutely amazing. For starters, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace around the ears. This is going to make the wig custom to my head. So when you receive yours, you'll definitely do the same. Some people's heads are big enough that you don't have to do this step. But for most of us, our heads are not uh, the 6 inches. I'm sorry, the 13 inches across. So you'll have to cut off a little extra. And that just makes it a one size fits all situation so that we can all purchase the same wig and it'll fit us. I'm opting for a bust down center part today, so you're going to see me fleek it out. I already stamped out my center part, and I'm loving the fact that I have six inches of parting space going back all the way from ear to ear. Now, this one is pre-plugged, but I am going to just open up a little bit. Sometimes when it's pre-plugged, it kind of will still look full in the front, and you got to just kind of open it up a little bit, and that's exactly what I did. I'm going to go for light baby hair today. You can go for no baby hair, and that's obviously the popular choice or you can go for a heavy baby hair i'll be able to switch it up throughout my install and my experience with this beauty we're going to be installing with the even i like this one this is the red one and i like this one better than the yellow i went through a full can of the yellow before i realized that the red is actually active and the yellow is like glueless so this one is a stronger hold but it's still um doesn't leave like that residue that actual glue uh leaves and then it also still will be removed with just simple old h2o so i love it over here because this gives me a stronger hold and it definitely lasts through my showers and my workouts so i'm just bonding her down and i like to work in sections i did the center first and then once it's where i like it i do one side and then the opposite side sometimes i'll do a different install process where i'll uh, bond the wig down with the lace attached and then remove the lace with that step i definitely feel like a lot of the time i'll have to go back and touch up whereas this way i never have to touch up now i did lose some files but i did go ahead and um cut this baby hair down low um as you guys can see i literally just cut a few sparse pieces it doesn't look like much right now and honestly you didn't really miss anything in that clip you'll see me still form the baby hair in just a moment the only thing you missed was me actually cutting it but as you guys can see you can barely see the baby hair i really didn't cut much at all what we're doing right now is what i have coined the dynamic duo my electric hot comb paired with the wax stick both of these products are provided by me and my black owned business bdbd.com will be linked in the description box my melt belt you'll see the spray bottle i use as well as a few other things are from my company so you'll be able to purchase and shop at your own pleasure so now i'm going to go ahead and do the baby hair um i actually keep forgetting to go to my warehouse and get my edge control so i am using the um what is this the got to be glued in the black i haven't used this since my start 
with YouTube and hair tutorials. But this is my OG Ride or Die product and what I used to bond my wigs down with back in the day. I still love this product, but I'm just using this to go ahead and form the baby hair. It's also fun to switch it up and just not only use my products, even though I am, you know, the face of my own product. Um, in my own company sometimes it's nice to just switch it up and use other things as well and give everybody else a shot too so I went ahead and just perfected the baby hair and made it um, as neat as I could possibly get it because this is not an edge control it takes a little bit longer to dry and mold so I went ahead and put my melt belt on and we're going to go ahead and focus on the length of the hair as I mentioned this one is 24 inches in length and 180 percent density it does come with a light layer in it so you'll be able to get a little bit of shape naturally but you can definitely go in and add more shape by cutting it if you choose dimming brush is key for me when it comes to curly hair i'm showing the texture and how beautiful it looks after a co-wash and then after the install i kind of dried so i just added a little bit more of my water using my 360 spray bottle now that you've seen the texture and seen how beautiful this one donor curly hair is, now I'm going to add product. I like for you to see what the hair looks like on its own without any help. Look at that back shot and how the beautiful wave and curl pattern goes literally from root to tip. And it is so beautiful and uniform because again, it's one donor hair. Now after I've added my mousse, I'm going to go in and just literally use the dimming brush to kind of just pretty much form the curls how I want them. I love a good messy curl, but I also love it when you kind of do the dimmer brush and kind of just like mold the curls into that perfect wave pattern. And that's exactly what we got. Now that the baby hair is set, I kind of just kind of like to brush it and move it so it's not too stiff. And I'm using mousse to do that. Mousse actually is one of my favorite ways to do baby hair, especially when I want it to be like fluffy and not like stuck to my head. Now we're going in and primping and prancing. I'm just using the electric hot comb. Be cautioned because the hair is wet to so just make sure that you can really, really pull the hair back and see the hairline and focus on that. Um, I like it when it just really, really, really looks like the hair is growing out of the scalp. Now let's use some concealer. This is 420 um, in the Fenty Concealer. This is one of my favorite shades, but I will be just venturing out and trying some new things because I use this all the time and it's because I love it. And we're going to use a foundation powder along the hairline. And yeah, everything is listed in the description box. This one was beautiful. Okay guys, so fast forward, it is about three days later since we filmed the tutorial. As you guys can see, I filmed the tutorial with no makeup. And I kind of like to come back and give you like a jazzy vibe. So I did film the outro and the intro, no makeup, but here I am now because now I am jazzed up. I have a little bit of energy. And so I figured why not show you guys what the update is. So again, it's been three days um, and I've been just at night wearing my melt belt. This one comes courtesy of my own brand, BeDikeBeauty.com, put this around the hairline. And then I'll just literally Put it into like two or three twists on each side and just let it like full up or you know put it up and just throw the whole bonnet over top and then in the morning i just take my spray bottle my continuous spray bottle from dickbitty.com as well linked in the description box and i just wet it down and we're good to go here and there i'll add a little bit of mousse just to kind of you know activate the curls so as i did mention this one did come from asha mary and this is the packaging. It's a beautiful like teal blue color. And inside we did get some goodies here. But everything of course is the melt belt. They also gave edge brush. Hey, my edge brush is in there. Edge brush, wig cap, and mink lashes as well as an eyebrow razor. So yeah, I really love this one. I love how full it is. Definitely can keep you warm during this <laughs> cold front that we're having. Everyone is freezing. We are in nice warm weather here in Southern California. So I feel grateful, but I do love this one. And I always feel like curly hair just, it like brings on my eye shape. It just, you know, compliments everything about me. I just can't stop looking at the viewfinder because I feel like I look beautiful in this unit. So if you're here for it, go ahead and check it out. Linked in the description box. Also, everything we use in this video is linked there too. Hope you guys are having a great holiday as we end the holiday with New Year's this week. Hope you guys have your resolutions in order and you are ready for a fresh start. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. 
Smooches.